Hello there, internet. Tank Top Dish coming at you with yet another Legends of Rune Terra video for you guys today. And today we are going to showcase the Lord and Savior himself, Atakan, in a deck I like to call the Night King, which is a deck that combines Atakan, Bringer of Ruin, with War Mother's Call. I know a lot of you expected a Shadow Isles variant of this deck with Spectrum Matron. That is a very well-known combination to go for, which we've seen in action in the past with Sithria, Lady of Clouds. Now, every time we get a big boy 10 drop, the first thing that comes to mind, big boys, oh, combining this with Spectrum Matron, and I was on the same boat. The problem is Shadow Isles took a big hit with this balance patch. Shadow Isles as a region is perhaps the by far the one that took the biggest blow. And the nerfs to escape the abomination and stalking shadows specifically did so much damage to like a lot of decks within the region. And I really, really wanted to build around. I mean, I need stalking shadows for a deck like this. I'm gonna play uh Spectrum Mater and Atakan because I need to more consistently be able to draw into these uh, pieces. And I also wanted to build a deck with the Curse Keeper, the early game package to um, because it happens to work really well with, with Stalking Shadows, and it can allow me to apply some uh, good early game presence that can allow me to also generate good stats on the board to empower Atakan, right? Like, that was the idea. The thing is, man, I, I even faced a Thresh Nasus deck with this deck right here. They played Bakai Reaper, then they played Curse Keeper into Ravenous Butcher, and I avalanched them and wiped their board. <laughs> Which is just, it's just kind of sad, man. Like, Shadow Owls definitely took the biggest hit. I'm not saying the region is dead. I'm, in fact, excited to approach other aspects of it that have been left uh, on the side, you know, to the last breath sort of early game package. And it'll be exciting, but for this deck, I just did not feel like, even though the combo with Spectrum Matron is neat, I just didn't think that that was the proper home for Atakan. And I feel like I could do something better. And that's why I ended up resorting to Froyord in a deck that is based on ramping into War Mother's Call to just start just throwing in some Atakan, some Leviathans, and just win the game from that point, right? That's the idea with this deck. The rest of the deck is, is basically helping us get to that point. We have Ramp with Catalyst of Aeons. We are playing Swain, which can synergize really well with a shitload of AoE effects we have here. We have a one-off of Death Lotus, a full set of Ice Shard, a full set of Avalanche, and a full set of Blighted Ravine. A couple of copies of Scorched Earth to help us pick off big units and or destroy Frozen Thrall landmarks if we're playing Turbo Thralls, which is a pretty popular deck right now. We got uh, Freezes with Flash Freeze, a one-off of Three Sisters, and the one-off of Harsh Winds. A couple of copies of Trundle, which may seem like a bit out of place or unnecessary, but ultimately Trundle gives us another option to go for as we ram turn three and we have turn five available to us. Being able to drop Trundle and ramp into it is really neat. And Trundle is one of those cards that actually does not in a way, he's a card that benefits from ramp as well. He's a five drop, but he benefits from ramp because we are able to accelerate into the ice pillar to level him up. So I figured as a two of, he would help us uh, patch up a little bit of our lack of early game units and uh, help us fight for the board a little bit better. And that is the deck list right there. We have a, a full set of Kindly Tavern Keeper to keep our Nexus as healthy as possible. With this, alongside Catalyst of Aeons and Blinded Ravine, we have pretty much all the healing that Freljord has to offer to help us survive against more early game aggressive decks. And yeah, man, it's it's just like when we go for the War Mother's Call, I just think of like the Freljord Avengers and I see, you know, Atakan, the Leviathan, Trundle, Swain, <laughs> and your boy Tavern Keeper. <laughs> the, the comic, the comedic relief <laughs> helping us out as well. So that is the deck list. Uh, very fun to play, but not a deck that I would recommend if you are trying to climb ranked uh, as efficiently as possible, right? It's not a tier one deck by any means, but it is a fun one. It lacks some consistency, but it is so damn satisfying when it goes off. And I had a really solid session for you guys today. I think you're gonna enjoy it. So I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna let the game speak for themselves. So swell day, leave a like for my fucking Atacan and you know, for tank top douchiness. I don't even know how to end these videos anymore. Love ya, thank you for supporting my content. Enjoy the games, I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Talia Malphite. I really like this timeline. Let's go ahead and mulligan away everything. No.
And let's see if we can get War Mother's Call. One of the key things with this deck is finding your ramp and finding War Mother's Call. Otherwise, we're kind of a... Uh, I mean, we're not a bad swing deck per se. Like, we have options. We have like a lot of board wipes and such, but... The cool thing about War Mother's Call is that we have a lot of time to... Don't, don't buff Chip. Leap, leap, no. Chip, 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 chip. We may lose the chip, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna cry. Make him think, you know. I can always destroy that. Uh, the way that it works, it should. Yes. <laughs> I wasn't completely sure. All right, we're able to heal up a little bit, and we're also able to uh, leave Chip to for Ravenous Flock range. I, I think I'm gonna Scorched Earth this. It's very likely. Oh, but he could he could tally it now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm gonna try to restore that now. So he cannot play Talia. I should have done that the prior turn. A good scene on this one. Okay. I just flock. Get out of here. Reminds me of uh, of Steins Gate with uh, the girl. I think you said that. What a good show! I love Steins Gate. We got Triple Swain, but nothing else. Fucking damn it, man! Out of this shit. We got the vulnerable tag on Fort Show. We got a bunch of flocks, but we ain't got we ain't got shit. Like this is really some really awkward draws here. Um, I could attack. What could he have? To buff this. What buffs do they run? They don't run buffs, right? Like they run the three mana one. They they run. Yeah, I feel like this should be a trade that I can go for. Oh, of course they there on that. I mean we have we have Ravenous Flock in it, so we're fine. I forgot about Shapestone. I always forget about Shapestone. Next turn we have a total of seven mana. Okay. There's our ramp. I mean at this point do we even need ramp? <laughs> like that's it's a good question. All right, Chip, come at me. And now we're gonna try to Leviathan, because I guess this game we're we're just playing through, so that means. I can't. I, I've, I've drawn so many swings that I actually don't draw off the Leviathan. That's so sad. Well, that gives my opponent information. But for now, I mean, this should allow us to halt them a little bit. I could flock into another Leviathan here. But first, or I could just play you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're doing it the old-fashioned way. We're curving into motherfucking Atakin. <laughs> we're not ramping into him. We're not warm. Oh, are you fucking serious? 
What if he has, like, uh... I mean, for now, we need turn reactions. Because you could have a stun, right? I'm gonna attack first. You could have a hush. Okay, there's one, and there's another one, alright. We get the stuns out of him, which is important. We can still get countered by the right negation if they do run it. But they don't! Oh, we're going in! Ho 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 ho! Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> Hit the tavern keeper. Tavern Keeper is a part of the Froyard Avengers, in case you were wondering. It's like the Leviathan, Atacan, Swain, Trundle, and Tavern Keeper. <laughs> He's like the, the Hawkeye. <laughs> Comedic relief. Hawkeye is in Comedic Relief, though. Oh well. Alright, here we go. Uh, Timo. Timo Ezreal, oh my goodness. I mean, this hand is kind of spot on what I want it to be. Like, I don't have any ramp, but everything else I like. I like I like the board wipes, and I like the Scorched Earth, because we need to be able to answer their... their Hex thing. Their Hex Core Foundry. Because if they mill us, we're, we're in big, big trouble. We get the ram. Up three. I kind of want to deal with this guy immediately. I'm going to go for the avalanche. We don't need to, like, we don't need to... Could have a troll champ. Yeah, but if they, if they do have a troll champ... Attack! Attack me! Attack me! He's gonna, he's gonna see the death loop is coming. For two mana? Armed and ready. Run away, Mike. Come on. Oh, well, I mean, we still... Uh, he dodged that. Spark. He saw it coming. Maybe I should not have emoted. I mean, I really, really want to kill this guy. Really want to kill this guy. Alright. Mission accomplished. We killed the guy. A few buff caps, but it's, it's not that bad at all. Like... Just gotta try to disrupt their game plan as much as we can. And immediately deny that. Immediately. Effective immediately. Okay, we're doing fine for now. This is a good turn to play the Catalyst of Bayons. Have a mushroom. Have three. Next turn will be eight mana. Let's pass for now. This will take the chill off. Not take that pass. Because now we're going in. Got no negation or anything. All right, here we go. <laughs> Get swing. Winter, take you. All right, they're starting the meal process, but we got our war mothers in, so it's war mothers versus meal. Out of can, out of can. Ooh! 
Quite a collection! We're gonna try a ravenous flock. Beautiful! Beautiful! Beautiful, baby! Got him! Nice! <laughs> we didn't get to attack with Atticus, but it counts as an Atticus win. Remember this day! Alright, we're facing thralls. We do have a couple of scorched thirds. So it is important to mulligan for those. I always want to keep the catalyst. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about ride of negation. And this, you know, when you never face Shuri Man, can, especially this deck can definitely run as a one off. Okay, no turn one thrall, which is fantastic. Makes my life a little bit easier. Okay, tur turn two thrall. Well, I mean, it's. Turn one thrall is better, so uh, I'll, I'll take that. Good pass there. I, sh I should have I should have gone for the Kindle of hands. That that was not worth like two health. Spent a lot of momentum on that. We got triple war mother's call. We got all the warder mother's call in the world. The cold creeps in. Six. I did a couple of turns. Okay, well that's not great. That's not great at all. I need him to not have a way to bop that throw. Quite simply. Okay, that's spooky. Let's put these rocks in the motion. That 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 could be worse. Come on, baby. Come on. I need him to not counter me. Oh. Well, never mind. We're dead. <laughs> Shit. Man, if I had another Scorched Earth, uh, I would have been fine. But, you know. That's like saying, if I had the one counter in my deck, also, some Frostbites would have bought me some time here. Well, goodbye. I guess, um, I guess I definitely paid the price for not paying that earlier. I definitely paid the price for, for, um, like, he, he, he got me with that pass, because I would have been able to War Mothers one turn earlier. I'm not sure if it would have made a difference the way he was going, like, how turbo he was, but I think ultimately, ultimately it mattered, for sure. I mean, I, I got the Catalyst later, right? But... Would, that, would it have mattered? I'm not sure, because I, I got... I mean, I, I, did, I did spend one turn not doing anything, so it definitely should have mattered, right? Well, next one. I don't know if this is the same guy. I feel like he is, but I'm gonna act like he is if he isn't. To get some nice revenge. Hard mulligan. Alright, good start. No ramp, no war mothers, but the, like I said, the beautiful thing about war mothers is that we don't have to draw it immediately. 
We have the entire game to draw it. And uh, that's why I'm playing cards like Trundle, right? Even though Trundle initially doesn't make much sense in this deck, uh, because I ramp from turn three to five a lot, I... I can play this on turn five. Okay, so back-to-back -back throws, all right. I guess we just played Trundle and Gurt. We're drawn to a lot of reactive stuff, but uh, unfortunately, I mean, we have a flash freeze, which is nice for when the thralls come. I'm gonna escort Surth here. Feels nice to have a proactive play finally. That's also another reason to play Tron though, you know, he's a nice proactive play that you're you're excited to go for. And now that he's on the right negation range, we're like, bitch! Get that out of here! Uh, mm. Yeah, this is best. <laughs> hey, buddy, you have nothing to do? Neither do I. Okay, Atacan, it's nice to see you as a proactive play. Smashing. I'm gonna attack. I mean, you could have something like a Fury of the North or some shit, but you know, I could just slash freeze, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, we're fine. There you are. Oh, let's try. <laughs> I guess he didn't have an answer. Dungeons! Oops, did I break something? Their spirit. <laughs> oh, okay, that was a, that was kind of terrible. Sweet, sweet vengeance. Bilgewater Shrima. Oh, the list. The list. Gotta watch out for that. I mean, we definitely want to have um, frostbites here. I'm gonna move away everything else. I mean, avalanche is not bad, but I I, I have like three blind grabbings and three avalanches, so I feel like I'm gonna draw to them eventually. So I I, I do want to enhance my chance of finding like ramp and and we, we have to find ways to win this game, right? A little bit afraid because uh, this is a spooky matchup, I think, because they got beefy units. They they're harder for us to wipe. We'll see. I mean, we have, like I said, we have reactive means, but we also gotta make sure that we find our win condition because we can't, we can't stay alive in this game forever, you know? Maybe it was a mistake to move it away the avalanche, but I feel like enhancing my chances of drawing into that would have been really good here. Maybe we just get an attack and we just play the tavern keeper on curve, have a blocker. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. The slower, the longer this match takes, the better for me. Heroes go hungry. I want to bob that spell shoot. Sand and 
trouble far as the eye can see. That old trick again. Damn spell shield, man. Annoying! I could play Tron, though. I'm worried because uh, the list is a thing, right? So I want to have the Scorched Earth enabled. Because if he does have the list, I can react. Use this. Can use this to destroy that, and then I take I take a huge hit. But what am I better off doing here? Let me think. Trundle can trade into any of these technically, but Swain allows me to set up the Leviathan, man. I have three sisters. Like I, I could go for this, but Destination in sight. Bring these the problem with this line of play is that now we're vulnerable to a a vulnerable into list combo. I mean, not much we can do with that. Like I said, if he had a vulnerable plus the list, uh oh, fuck. We'll crush anyone who stands in our way. Oh, shit. And paint our faces with their blood. Yeah, I mean if they have it, they have it. Like we 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 don't have an answer for for a list to play here. Oh no. God damn it. Well that's all she wrote. I need a top deck. I need something. Uh, that's not it. <sighs> Can I survive? Oh man, I don't think so. I mean, I have a flash freeze here, right? I have a flash freeze. Rubbing it in much? My god. 
Jinx Draven. Uh, sorry, Jinx. Yeah, Jinx Draven. Well, I'm gonna keep uh, the AoE and I'm gonna Molina away everything else. I'm gonna keep the War Mother's Call as well because it is the card that I wanna win with. And if I Mulligan it, I have a very good chance of just not drawing it ever. We're lacking like answers to their early, early game, but. There's some ramp there. Let's see if they don't go turbo on us. I'm not sure what he meant by that. It's like, GG, I have a jury rig. I mean, considering the matchup, I've seen scarier things. Turn two is very complex. Because I'm, I'm worried about a crowd favorite. A crowd favorite coming in could be really problematic. But the problem is if like a Draven comes down here. I think I have to respect this. Crowd favorite would be what? It's Draven. Oh. I guess, you know, we could have passed. But... I guess he just really wants to fill the board with things. I like that draw. That would have been, that would have been a bit better. Time for the money maker. Okay. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna spook him. Guy just does not give a fuck, huh? Well, play, play your dudes. Let's do this. I can just ramp now. Have him fill up the board a little bit more. Because I want to be able to hit that Jinx if it comes down. Because Jinx can't level up this turn. And now we ravine it up because there's no reason for me to play. Yeah, because now I just I have him have a turn in which he doesn't do anything. Prioritizing ravine that way makes it really awkward for him, and uh, we can just Swain at this point. Swain Leviathan, Swain Leviathan War Mother. Yeah, I mean, I like that. By my hand. I don't even have to War Mother, per se, immediately. I mean, I'd like to finish this game, right? And we got this beautiful Ice Shard here. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. And the Poros go down. <laughs> Get him up. I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play my fucking Leviathan. <laughs> Experimenter top deck? <laughs> I 
Boya will break them. All right, no, no Atticam, but <laughs> you know, just soy things, I guess. <laughs> uh. the are... Oh my God! I want an Atticam kill, God damn it! Nah, you know what? You're gonna live. Actually, I actually don't get the Attic and kill. Because uh, the Leviathan kills him. Well! That went well. Alright, Timo Ezreal. Again. We have the Scorched Earth, which is very important. Um, the Ice Shard could be pretty key, but I'm gonna mulligan it away as well. Scorch Earth I'm going to keep because I want to be able to answer, uh, answer the Hexcore Foundry. Double makes me feel nice. No turn one Teemo makes me feel even better. Alright, the longer this match goes, the better for us. I thought you'd never ask. Mm, cool story, boy. Stop bragging if you can back it up. Woohoo! Woohoo! Fantastic. Nope. It's not letting it happen. Prepare the cargo. I mean, now we got big boy plays. And eventually he'll run out of thermal beams. My Atticans, man. <laughs> like that's that's where I'm at. Like I'm not I'm not fucking around. I'm playing my Atticans. Cause I'm getting a power boost every time. And you and you gotta yeah, you gotta freeze me. Don't blink, or you miss me. Dark in the skies! Armed and ready! Stop 
bragging if you could back it up. Can't do. <laughs> when in doubt, just add a kid. I'm still at 16 health. A true Doesn't matter because I attack with everything. <laughs> and I go back to 20, baby! <laughs> just keep it simple. <laughs> Come on, we an Attican quote. Come on now. <laughs> 